Hi guys, um, it's Monday still. Um, I posted a Dollar Tree run earlier, um, so that should be live right now. Um, it is hot and I'm waiting for the mister to wake up and we're going to go to the pool. Um, I haven't done anything since Saturday. Like I said in my earlier video, they killed me at work literally tried to kill me um it's just working shorthanded and the census is up so there's more people that need care and have, need meds and it's just they're demanding and it's just re really ridiculous but i try to say it's only three days um who the hell poisoned that boy i think his name is manuela um i'm going to show you a picture of him right now I don't know. I'm hearing that it, um, somebody gave him a cracker through uh, his prison cell, um, and that is the source of the poisoning. But he didn't die. Um, it's not really a lot of info out. At least I didn't hear anything. Um, so we don't know what's going on with him. But I wonder is this one of many more street justice issues, you know, where people will take justice into their own hands I don't know but anyway um, tough love is hard a lot of people that aren't in your situation can tell you what to do and I let me just say this sometimes we need to hear it and I'm the type of person that I would like for somebody to come to me and tell me um, or keep it real with me. Keep it 100. Because I'm going to do that same thing. I'm that type of friend that's going to keep it real with you. And I don't mean it when I say it that way. Because I appreciate the love, the comments, um, the reinforcement of what I already know um, that has to be done. But for some people that have kids. And we're talking about those man boys and those woman girls, those adult children um, that still expect you to take care of them uh, <laughs> after you done did your part. It's easy for them to tell you what to do when their kids are in the same boat. It, it's not easy. It's really not easy. I called my mother the other day just to give her an update and she like kind of almost bit my head off like I know you ain't gonna take them back no that's not what I was calling her you for Hattie I was calling just to give you an update of what's going on and I'm gonna give you guys an update too and if you're not interested just click off the video um, on Saturday my landlord texts me was like what's going on with, with Cam <clears throat> you know she was just like she seen him come in the yard and she just was like oh hell no well a couple of weeks back he asked me could he put some of his stuff on the side of the house I never said yes I never said no the conversation just ended because I already know how it is it's the same behavior like when they lived with me the breakup to make up they're breaking up and then before I could get off of work, they back together in love, Bonnie and Clyde, okay? So, I don't go out my side door. I never go out my side door. The only time I would ever have to go out my side door is to take the garbage out. And most of the time, my husband and um, my son, they do that. So, there's no reason for me to go out the side door. So, he had brought a bin of clothing and was keeping it on the side of the house, okay? So, he was coming to change clothes why I don't know because you guys know from last week he was staying with Chunk's mom so I reached called my husband like because I'm thinking he came in through a window she's giving me the impression she's so damn nosy giving me the impression that he was inside my house and I knew my 
older son was at work and I knew my husband was sleeping getting ready to get up for work and it's another thing with her that she needs to you know I understand he left the apartment destroyed I understand that him and her were disrespectful but that's still my son so it might come a day where I invite him over for a meal so you may see him again I'm sorry but you just may see him again but he's not coming back to live and that's something I had to make it clear with her so I reached out to my husband he said he hasn't been in the house he didn't look under the table where the bin was being stored but she found it and called me yesterday I'm like just I'm off I just want to relax I'm tired as hell I'm watching my dynasty marathon whatever I talked to her and I had to let her know you don't have to worry he's not coming back here and the bin will be removed so I texted him yesterday and said, you can't keep your stuff there. She doesn't want you on the property. And I understand. She's out a lot of money. They've been gone since March. The condition that they left the apartment, she couldn't even rent it to anybody else. So since March, and mind you, he stopped paying rent in April. She's out bread. I get it. And she's having to spend money to repair the damage that they left. I get it 100%. And I'm even paying for something that was broken right now okay in installments okay so I get it trust me I'm out money too but I, I understand so I told him enough is enough with this one minute you're here one minute you're there you don't want to be there so bottom line he does not want to be there but he's not working the job that he thought he had fell through and I'm sure she's talking big ish now that she's working mind you she's lived in my house for three years over three years and did not work did not clean did not contribute a damn thing but now my son is out of work not even two weeks and she's talking big ish because she's working I, I already know this girl and it's frustrating because I'm like why would you give up your home why would you shit on your family and people that have been helping you for her when she'll shit on you in a drop of a dime but he's going to have to learn that on his own so I said I'll just take you to DSS on Monday Department of Social Service because there's nothing you can't come here I can't help you right now and it doesn't make sense even if I was to go get a room and that's just I just am not gonna do it I, I got my own stuff going on and even if I was to it would be probably a waste of money because number one you're not working number two I've already given enough. Number three, you, you wouldn't appreciate it. And it'd be the same thing. You'd be getting put out of there because you just don't know how to treat people. And something that my mother said, and I talk to myself as well. Whenever I get those moments of weakness, I have to remind myself and talk to myself. And my mother said he needs to learn that he can't disrespect people and tear people's houses up and just do whatever he wants to do. It just doesn't work that way okay and to this day he is not apologized and when I tell him about the damage and what he's left it's not like that's messed up or she didn't deserve that or I'm sorry it's no remorse it's not even concern about chunk it's about him it's narcissistic really and it just blows my mind I never seen it coming I never thought that I he would be that way I never would have took taken him in I never would have vouched for him to get the apartment if I would have known what I know now to be honest with you I, I just wouldn't have and I, I just something's not right with him so I dropped him off this morning that was the longest drive okay I took him there this morning I don't know the status I don't know what's going on I did give him a copy of the eviction warrant so he could show them that he was evicted in March and you know he's been really no place to stay since then you know couches or wherever they've been doing really so I hope that he gets help but he's got to want to change and even getting out the car it wasn't by it wasn't thank you you know for taking time out of your day you know it was nothing it just okay I don't even know if he said okay just got out the car and walked in there so 
that kind of attitude makes it a little bit easier because I see that he has not changed. Um, that he has this attitude of entitlement. Um, he is not accepting any uh, responsibility for his actions or accountability for his actions. And he just doesn't get it. And I, I really can't help him. And I can't. It's hard. That, that was hard. It's hard to think of your child homeless, especially when you have a roof over your head and you have means. You know what I mean? It's hard to think of them. And my husband is very supportive, but at the same time, that is not his biological son. So it's like, you know, I'm his wife and he thinks about what, what, how I was treated and how I was disrespected, how he was disrespected. So he has a, a um, uh, attitude as if, um, oh well, you know, he's got to learn. You know, it's just, I will say it, cold, okay? And I get it because to me, I wouldn't tolerate that from his kids. You understand? And I would not go out of my way if I was disrespected and talked to like he was if I was treated the way he was I mean my husband's a nice guy and no that's not your dad but he would have helped you you understand what I'm saying and he has helped you um, he's helped your son you know what I mean and he loves your son so I was angry with the father but I was unaware that his father my ex-husband is or was homeless as well. I didn't know his girlfriend put him out. So, um, my son told me he was staying in a car with a friend, which is crazy to me. And he finally found a room. So he had told my son, if social service doesn't help him, that he could stay with him in the room. So, I mean, man, boy problems, you know, um, and it's just so frustrating because I really have spent a lot of time and have put a lot of effort to help my son, to try to talk to him. And it wasn't just to be annoying. It wasn't to be a nagging mother. It was to prevent this. It's like when you see somebody spiraling out of control, you can see it, but they can't. And I just don't think he was thinking about the consequences. I think at the time he just didn't give a damn. And, um, I don't know. All I can do is pray for him. All I can do is pray for her. I did speak to her today. And her take is, yeah, they got into an argument. Yes, yeah, she says get out, but she doesn't mean it. But at the same time, people get tired of you always saying get out, get out, get out. And, um, she said he doesn't like it there. And I know he doesn't. I don't like it there. I don't want my grandson there. You wouldn't want your grandson or son or cousin or anybody there so um i don't know but it's just it's easier said than done and i know it has to be done um and it's getting easier but it's still hard y'all it really is still hard um this tough love thing but it is hot what time is it it's past the time i'm supposed to wake up mr fuller um, cause he's did three doubles back to back. So I'm going to give him about 15 more minutes and we're going to get out of here and go to the pool and cool off because it is hot. But, um, thanks for listening family. I'm just venting and it's just, it's just really, it feels good taking the power back and it feels, um, I won't say it's a weight off of me. Um, because you still worry, but I know what needs to be done, but just doing it is, 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 is hard. I don't know if it's a mom thing. I don't know if it's because I'm an empath and you feel sorry for other people, but he has to learn. He really has to learn, but it really, it, it, it is hard. It is hard. But thanks for watching, guys. But if y'all know or hear any about who poisoned that boy, um, let me know. Because that's crazy. Talk to you later.